We're here at Beamon 2017, and I'm talking with Rick Vanover. We've spoke many times at uh, other conferences, including VMworld. And can you tell us a little bit about, you know, we just came out of the keynote, and there was a lot of new announcements, V10. Um, maybe you can tell me some of the new features that you sure. announced today. You know, today was a really big day for us to prepare for. We announced a lot of things around the core of our Veeam availability platform, which is Veeam Backup and Replication. And they were, in some areas, things that people have been wanting for a long time, but in other areas, ways for us to extend that availability experience. And just kind of in rapid form, they're backup for NAS systems, you know, which is something I personally have been wanting for a very long time. I'm happy to see that it's coming with version 10. And we just came off the demos from the general, general session showing this capability, um, a new, way to have advanced replication with the Veeam CDP capability that leverage the vSphere APIs for IO filtering. So we can really get that near zero RPO for um, putting workloads off site via a special replicated VM. Good stuff there. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah. And then also agent management, you know, some of those newer products having that type of management built in to backup and replication is a really, really good step. And then some expanded storage offerings, everything from our archive tier and also the ability to do native object storage support, which is also a frequently request item, uh, as well as expanding the platform through a number of key partners as well. Uh, one of them I'll highlight real quickly is our uh, upcoming Veeam availability for AWS. Agentless image-based backup in Amazon and then we're gonna have a connector that'll actually connect the capabilities of a Veeam repository. So let that kind of sink in and think about it. It's yeah. gonna be some pretty awesome stuff. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about the Vanguard program? Yeah, so my team, technical product marketing at Veeam, we, we manage um, a, a pool of evangelists. There's four evangelists worldwide, and, and myself is, in a way, still an evangelist. Rickatron. Oh, Rickatron, that's right. I got the, I actually, I had a little, cosmetic moment today so I put my little special font on the general session there so I it's kind of a little favor that I had asked of the video team and they're happy that they did that but anyways yes got a little brand going on and you know we we're a group of people that put ourselves out into the community we talk to the experts we talk to MVPs Cisco champion the NetApp A team and all those other different influencer marketing programs and and the goal of our Vanguard program is really just to identify the people that get what we do at Veeam the best, and really are, in a way, evangelists on our behalf. I mean, you know, we give them this opportunity, extra exposure. We brought 40 of the 60 vanguards here it's to New Orleans. It's been quite a few of them. Right. Yeah, <laughs> good, strong turnout, and uh, we want to just enable them with a great opportunity. You know, they get um, a couple of extra insider benefits. They have the same access levels as our technical SEs. Right? So we really trust them with some access to the products, the features, the updates, et cetera. And uh, we really value their feedback. Probably the highlight of the, the Vanguard year, uh, we refer to them almost like a class because it's a cycle. Uh, some come, some go. Uh, we are going through what I would call a disciplined growth. We want to grow it because we're going into new communities, you know, Linux and the cloud and the new storage uh, markets, et cetera. So, we want to identify those new communities and identify those people, bring them in, onboard them, enable them, all that good stuff, and then give them this opportunity. They get to meet with R&D. We had a three-quarter day of agenda for them on Monday, sorry, Tuesday of this week, and then they uh, get some, a couple extra things. They got a special opportunity this morning to see some of the news. Um, they got a, probably the best benefit, the program benefit that they get is the one uh, time well, once a year we do it, basically the ask me anything with R&D. I brought them all in, all the product leads from all the products, and I was actually really miraculously happy that I could make that happen on the schedule. But we had 10 of the members of R&D ask me anything. What are you thinking? Why not do this? Whatever. And, I mean, that's an NDA session. Can't share it, but it really right. gives the vanguards that opportunity to know what we think. And um, that's the vanguard program is my favorite role here at Veeam. Uh, we've, uh, it's my team, technical product marketing, and I have 
the, the evangelists, myself, and then I also am really made enabled by my three coordinator staff. They, uh, they're all technical too. Uh, the title, right. don't let the title coordinator uh, fool you. They all have the Veeam certified engineer credential. One of them's even a V expert now, so they're basically on that junior evangelist track as well. They're around this, they're exposed to this. And then also, the, um, we made a calculated decision with the Vanguard program to line up what I would call an executive sponsor. You know, I've got my team, we're all on board, we all get it, but I need someone that has a seat at the other table, if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. that, can, that gets this and, and knows. And, you know, Danny Allen uh, here at Veeam is that executive sponsor. I'm really happy to have that because he gets it. He knows what we're doing. He likes their feedback. And we have a really good kind of mojo, you know, community, um, a really strong group of ladies and, women, ladies and men around the world. Uh, we've got every continent. Oh, we don't have anyone in Africa yet, but we're on the prowl. Close, right? Yeah, yeah. We're, we try to get it geo-distributed balanced across the products you know so it's actually it's kind of difficult you know but so we put a lot how, of effort in it how do you uh go about choosing people to be a part of the program or do they come to you and say i want to be part of the program <laughs> well they do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah they, i get a lot of that but officially we open nominations towards the end of the year and that'll that'll rock out at the veeam blog and then um we go through a very uh intense process um, you know it, it's it's we don't officially disclose the criteria, but you know it's part data-driven right. and it's part subjective, and those are the main real things. And subjectives are opinions. Like you just know someone has it. Okay, I can't really qualify right. that, but that's part of the criteria. Uh, but then you know there are data data points as well. And a vote. We actually put a vote um, in, among my team and a couple other people. So that's back to the data-driven bit. And um, you know. The uh, one thing that I stress above all, because a lot of people like, I want to get into it and all. It's like, well, great, apply, and then reapply if you don't, because actually reapplication is is a strong momentum point. You know, right. so little bits like that really help. Kind of showing that they they yeah. really want to be. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, well, it was great speaking with you, and uh, I know you have a busy show, <laughs> lots of uh, other people to talk to, and. Yeah, I really appreciate the opportunity. You're right about busy show. In fact, it's just a little closing kind of joke comment. I go to look at my schedule on my phone and yeah. all those smartphones, you know, you can break it month, day, week, whatever. I've been stuck on day and it's so busy because of overlaps, I can't even read anything on day view <laughs> now. So that's, that's just funny. a taste of what it's like on the inside. But uh, no, thank you guys for coming and your continued support. I always love catching up with you guys. It's always a great chat. And, uh, you know, hope to see you guys at the next VMON in Chicago. Next year. Chicago, huh? Yeah. Great. All right. Well, thanks again. No problem.